World Cancer Day is this Sunday, February 4th, a day to raise awareness about the deadly disease. Here to help us dive deeper into trends and research is Scripps News Tonight medical contributor, Dr. Omar Awan. Dr. Awan, as always, good to have you. The American Cancer Society predicts more than 2 million people will receive a cancer diagnosis this year in the U.S., a record number. What are some of the reasons new cases are on the rise here? Well, they're on the rise, Christian, particularly in young people. There was a new study done in JAMA Network Open that showed that cancer cases have risen 19% uh, in people between the ages of 30 and 39. And we typically think of cancer as a disease of those that are old and the elderly. But in the reality is, even in America, cancer is on the rise, particularly in even younger individuals. And we don't entirely know why that's the case, but we suspect that some of the risk factors like obesity, alcohol, things that are very common here in America, you know, more than two in five American adults are obese. Uh, people drink alcohol at, you know, high numbers. So these are some of the reasons why we're seeing a lot of the cancers, particularly in young individuals. Mm. The American Cancer Society estimates lung and bronchus cancer will account for the most deaths among men and women. Um, besides smoking, what contributes to lung cancer? So lung cancer is by far the most common risk would be smoking. But, you know, even secondhand smoke can result in uh, lung cancer. And in fact, worldwide, nearly a million people will be diagnosed with lung cancer just from secondhand smoke. They have not touched a cigarette at all. So that's an important consideration. And then when we see, you know, people smoking with a pipe, vaping, although there isn't a direct correlation, they do contain the same toxins that are present in tobacco smoke. So you have to wonder whether this is also contributing to increased risk in lung cancer. And then of course, you know, certain environmental exposures like radon uh, contribute to lung cancer. So all these things, all these environmental factors are uh, predisposing to people who have lung cancer. Yeah, that's very fascinating, understanding that part of this can just be the environment without actually smoking yourself. This is something that can impact folks. Uh, I want to get to this. Black women get breast cancer at lower rates than white women, and yet their death rate is 40% higher than white women. How should we understand this dynamic, Dr. Awan, and what can be done to improve survivability with breast cancer, especially among black women? Well, it's an alarming number. It's an alarming number, Christian. We have to do better to mitigate these racial disparities with respect to uh, breast cancer. You know, I think we have to be a little bit more vigilant to allow more screening to be more widely accessible, particularly to marginalized communities, particularly to low-income neighborhoods where, <clears throat> excuse me, where we see the brunt of, you know, black women who are in, you know, low-income neighborhoods and they don't have access to screening mammograms that can potentially save their life. They don't have access to therapies that can potentially save their life. So, you know, we have to make screening programs more widely available to everyone. We need to educate people on screening programs. You know, many Americans don't even know that, you know, a screening mammogram can result in 40% decreased risk of death. That's a huge number, right? We could potentially save thousands, hundreds of thousands of lives if everyone got a screening mammogram at the age of 40. So these are things that we have to, you know, really heed to and, and take seriously if we want to, you know, come around and decrease these racial disparities. Yeah, I feel like screenings and health exams of the like really kind of impact health outcomes, something that we've talked about before. Scripps News Tonight medical contributor, Dr. Omar Awan. Dr. Awan, many thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Christian.